You had a organic wheel field here. No, peas field. They bailed it. It was full of kosher. And the relative feed value came back better than some of our second cutting of alpha. Yep. Absolutely. So does it matter, like, I mean, when a cow grazes to actually eat the plant, but when you feed chickens, you have to seed. Is the seed as nutritious as the plant? More so. Oftentimes, because you have a plant that's a lot of, has got a lot of, as a plant grows, what is, what the purpose of a plant body is, is to collect and store nutrition. That's the vegetation side of what the plant's doing. Grow and store. When I get into reproduction, now I'm setting a seed and my job is to take all of the nutrition as much as I can in my body and translocate it into the seed. So what I'm getting is a concentrated volume of that nutrition. I don't have to eat this much plant to get the nutrition. I have to eat a little bit of grain. So your seeds become a concentration or a reflection of what was in your plant. If it wasn't in your plant, you can't get it into your seed. So seeds are concentrations. And, you know, because that's where life starts again. It doesn't start again in the plant's dead body. It starts again in the seed. So most of it's going to get pushed into that seed if it can. So people are afraid of weed seeds. Well, I'm sorry, but all the wild birds and all the wildlife out there don't seem to have a distaste for weed seeds. They quite like them. I don't see any veterinarians chasing down the canaries and the pheasants and the turkeys and the grouse saying, gosh dang it, come on over here, you got to have your weekly antibiotic shot and I got to give you this vaccine because you're all looking like scabies and scabbies and you all look bad. These guys get by fine. They mostly will not eat domestic plants. They'll take the wild stuff. Sheep? They, they'll, they'll graze them. Just watch, watch animals. Give them a choice and watch what they do. They have this sense of smell. Eli was just saying, dairy select on milk. Uh, they select hay based on relative feed value or nutritional content because the stuff below 180 doesn't milk well. You get 180, 190, 200, stuff produces way better milk. Better milk components. When you look at milk, water is 8.33 pounds a gallon. Milk is 8.64. What's the difference? That third of a pound. Probably minerals. All, all, all minerals. So if the mineral content isn't in the feed, how are you going to get it in your milk? So how can I make butter fat? How can I make proteins? How can I make carbohydrates? How can I make lactose in my milk if I don't have the minerals to do this? So if I, if I feed a better hay, will I have heavier milk? You have better components in your milk, absolutely. More minerals should be heavier milk too. Then. You, you can. You can get milk that has different weights. What, Ed, is every pound of grain or every field of grain you grow weigh the same? No. Nope. Does not. Is every chicken what we raise weigh the same when we finish it? No. It isn't. They're all different. When we start looking at what makes these things and what's in them, we see a whole different world than what we're told. The, the thing is, is Minerals are a starting point. They're not the end point, okay? Because, because what we want to see is these minerals have to become parts of compounds. That's the good stuff. And so just spraying, just spraying minerals on grain, it'll put some minerals on the grain, but it won't create more plant secondary metabolites because they haven't been taken, restructured, put through an enzymatic process and made into all these different compounds. See, the plant, the poultry, the bird, the bird doesn't want the mineral. The bird wants the mineral so that its enzymes can make something that a plant didn't. That's what we're getting at here. The minerals are just first base. 